Hi friends, welcome back to PS Deezer. My name is Ishwar. Today I am super excited to share with you an amazing trick that will help you effortlessly remove blemishes in your photos using Photoshop. So let's dive in and make those imperfections disappear like a magic. Are you ready? Let's get started and have some fun. If you are eager to practice and follow along with me, you can download the photo we will be using for this tutorial from the links provided in the description below. Now take a close look at the photo. As you can see, there are quite few blemishes on the skin that we will be targeting. Since we are in 2023 and technology has come a long way, editing and retouching have become more advanced and efficient, making our lives super easy. Let's try out the awesome neural filters in Photoshop and see if they can quickly fix this blemish issue in our photo. First, make sure to duplicate the background layer to keep our original intact. Next, head over to the filters menu and select neural filters. Within the neural filters panel, locate the skin smoothing option and simply turn it on. Let's play around with the values for blur and smoothness to find the perfect balance. You can adjust these values to your liking depending on the desired effect and the photo you are working on. Once you are satisfied with the result, choose output as the current layer to apply the changes to our duplicated layer. Then simply click OK to see the magic. The neural filters did a fantastic job in reducing the redness and improving the overall skin texture however upon closer inspection it seems that some blemishes are still remaining when it comes to portrait retouching in photoshop it can be challenging to spot all the blemishes easily and they can be subtle and easily overlooked so here is a neat trick to spot those stubborn blemishes easily let's create a filter that will help us identify them quickly to do this, click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose black and white from the options. This will create a new adjustment layer that converts our image to black and white. By adjusting the sliders for reds and yellows, we can fine tune the filter to make the blemishes stand out prominently. Let's zoom in for a closer look. It will allow us to spot them more clearly. Once we have adjusted the filter to our liking and can clearly see the blemishes, Let's rename this layer as remove blemishes to keep things organized. With this new filter layer in place, we now have a visual guide to easily spot and identify the blemishes that need retouching. It's like having a spotlight on the problem areas, making our retouching process much more efficient and effective. Let's use the patch tool to tackle those blemishes one by one. Select the patch tool from the toolbar and then make a selection around the blemish you want to remove. You can adjust the size of the selection as needed. Next, simply drag and drop the selected blemish to an area of the skin without blemishes. Watch as the patch tool seamlessly blends the selected area with the surrounding skin, making the blemish disappear like it was never there. Repeat this process for each blemish. Take your time and be precise with your selections to achieve a flawless result. Here is another handy trick to make the process even faster. Hold down the shift key while using the patch tool and you can make a selection around multiple blemishes at once. This is a time saving technique that allows you to address several blemishes in a single selection. Once you have made the selection, you can drag and drop them to an area of the skin without blemishes and watch them disappear like a magic Editing and retouching can sometimes be a time-consuming process, especially when dealing with multiple blemishes. It's totally understandable that you may not want to sit through the entire process, so I'm going to fast forward this.
So finally, I have successfully removed all the dark spots and blemishes from the photo. Now that I am satisfied with the results, we can choose to turn off or delete the black and white adjustment layer. This will allow you to view your photo in its original colors with all the blemishes gone. And that's it, here is the before and after removing all the blemishes. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyed the process. If you want to stay updated with more exclusive Photoshop tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our PS Desire YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications for our future tips and tricks. We are always here to provide you with helpful tutorials and techniques to enhance your photo editing skills. Thank you so much for joining us in this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Take care and keep creating stunning photos.